Right. Well, the weekend of the final is here and um, just got Saturday to get through and then our lads will be taken to the pitch at Wembley. The first ever Carling Cup final to be held at the new Wembley Stadium. Then it's just 45 minutes each way until we're finally lifting that cup. Yes, I am adamant we are going to win. Um, I can't believe how excited I am about it happening this weekend. Um, I know we may have only beaten uh, Chelsea once in the last 16 attempts. But hey, this is a whole different ball game. This is a cup final and we rise to these challenges. Pundits and footballers across the country are also sticking their name on the Tottenham supporters sheet. BBC football pundit um, Mark Lawrence has added his name to those who are tipping Tottenham to win. He's held BBC Sport online. He's top it, sitting top to win because he reckons one day Ramos has got that uh, formula, winning formula for the cup final competition. And of course, old boy David Janola also sitting up for a 2 1 win. And I'm sticking my, um, my uh, support firmly behind him. I reckon we're going to battle it out to a 2 1 win on Sunday. Last night's match was a little bit frustrating in the lead up to Sunday. It wasn't the performance we probably would have wanted to have seen. Um, but then one day Ramos did um, rescue key players. Um, so, you know, which was good to see. But I would have preferred to have seen a little bit more fighting spirit on the pitch. Almost a couple of points. It looked like we were slipping back down into that road of a slightly under-focused and sloppy um, performance that we had a couple of months back. But, yeah, we did enough. Um, we held on for that 1-1 one, one win, which sees us through to the next round, which ultimately is the point. So, um, brilliant. Moving on with our uh, UEFA Cup um, dreams on that front as well. So, plus, I'd rather see us um, slightly underperform on last night, hold back some of our reserves, rest some of those key players, steer clear of injury, and then have all... Uh, be able to give our all Sunday. Uh, the big news of last night, obviously, Paul Robinson uh, sticking back on his goalie glove and making it into the Tottenham squad. Uh, I was thrilled to see him back there. Um, he obviously paid one day Ramos back for um, giving him the uh, first team lineup and also the captain's armband by putting in an outstanding performance, definitely stand up performance of the night, and my man of the match, definitely. Um, I know we have to give Journey his credit for his recent performances. He's played some great games recently. I know he had one fumble in the, in the game the other week. But, you know, he has produced some really good performances recently. But I still think, um, given the game, Paul Robinson is our number one goalkeeper. And I think he will perform well. And I'll be thrilled to see him on the pitch on Sunday. Um, it's been a couple of weeks now since we thrashed Arsenal 5-1. I think everyone still remembers that night with absolute joy. Um, plenty has happened since then. Annoyingly, Chelsea's had a couple more days uh, to rest their players than we have. And they will be putting out a full-strength squad, I'm sure, on Sunday. Although, strangely, hearing rumours that um, John Terry and Frank Lampard might be left on the sidelines for that game. Although, I guess, you know, with a tri- team like Chelsea, you know, the amazing options we have at hand are there, so if they don't put them on, I would be surprised, but they will have amazing options. Drog Power is obviously back in the squad for uh, Chelsea's game in Greece this week, and I reckon he'll be our biggest hurdle on our road to lifting the cup on Sunday. But we have a good, strong squad right now, and the new blood Ramos brought in this uh, transfer season definitely refreshed us. But even then before that, game on game, we were improving and growing stronger. So thoughts on our squad? Uh, well, I reckon Paul Robinson will get that call up. And I reckon Ledley will be there to lift the cup at the end of the game. Um, and what an amazing and a momentous moment that was going to be. Then Hutton, Woodgate, Chimbonda making up the back. Then Lennon, Genus and Mulbronk. Either Sakura or Hohara um, in the middle. I'd like to see Ohara on the pitch at some point, but I reckon he'll probably start on the bench with the Cora making up that four. Then it has to be Berbatov and Keane up front, um, both of whom I reckon will add goals to their names by the end of the game. It's going to be the first chance for both managers to uh, lift some silverware with their uh, new team this year. 
Um, but with two cup wins behind him, one day round is definitely going to be out wanting to win this one um, in the lead up to a double with the UEFA Cup following shortly behind it. I can't tell you how excited I am about Sunday. Um, and for you that are heading to Wembley for Sunday's match, we want to hear from you on Monday, hear all of your experiences, what it was like watching Ledley lifting the cup. Um, and if anyone's got a spare ticket and feels like taking you along, then please do let me know. Um, for now, we just want to hear your score predictions and your team predictions. Write us a comment, log on to www.spurspies.tv. Leave us a comment, let, let us know what you think the score's going to be um, or this time, almost this time on Sunday. Um, and who you think one day Ramos is going to line up. So, all that's left for me to 